In this video, we show you how to add automatic tests to your programs. Testing is a time-consuming but necessary part of creating correct scripts. With each change in the source code, all the possible input must be retested to ensure that the code is still working correctly in all cases. We start with the solution of the ISBN exercise from Series 5. In the instruction video, ISBN Series 5, we demonstrated how each example function call from the donor can be tested. We select the code and choose the option Execute Selection in Console in the context menu. Now we have to enter the case to be tested and compare the output with the result from the donor. Python now offers us the ability to automate these tests. We use the doc test module for this. The module searches the doc string for bits of text that start with three greater than signs and executes these function calls and check whether or not they return the expected result. This expected result is each time recorded in the subsequent line. So the doc string usually is a copy of an interactive session. Sometimes additional commands are made. You'll see the function call starting with three greater than signs and for every function call the expected result. The doc string also serves as a kind of reference showing how the code is used correctly or incorrectly. We copy the examples of the donor and add them as doc string within the function code. Doc strings are always inserted between triple double quotes. We may still add command to the doc string. Statements to be executed start each time with three greater than signs followed by the function call. The subsequent line or lines contain the expected output. To ensure that the doc string is being executed and all examples are being checked, we add at the bottom of our script three lines. The doc test module is imported and the function testmod of this module will be executed. In that way all the examples in the doc string will be checked. If all the tests are correct there will be no special output in the console. If errors occur in one or more tests, you will get a list of cases in the console with the corresponding line numbers where the errors occur in the script. We test this for a correct code and get a message that all the tests passed. We will also look at the result in case of an incorrect code. We change the equals sign in our code into a not equal to and rerun the code with the same test cases. The console reports two errors, one on line four of the code, this one, and one on line six of the code. As you can see, four tests were done and two failed. In these two cases, the check digit was calculated and compared to the last character. In both cases, this returned an incorrect result. Cases 3 and 4 were also tested by the doc test, but do not return an incorrect result here, since the code is already terminated at the first condition. So you notice that the doc test module checks the various cases in the doc string. If the console does not generate output, then all tests have been successful. 
If the code generates a result that is different from the examples from the doc string, the error messages will appear in the editor. This is the end of this video in which we can thoroughly test our code by inserting doc strings and using the doc test module.